So this is question number 26. We've got the integral of 12 sine 3 fifths x times e to the 9 cosine of 3 fifths x. It looks particularly nasty, but in actual fact, this is something that you can do via reversing the chain rule, or if you're not too confident on that, by integration by substitution. And the reason why I know that's going to work is because the interior function, which is this 9 cosine 3 fifths x, differentiates to something with the sine of 3 fifths x, which is what I've got at the front. So to reverse the chain rule on this, you need to think about differentiating this e to the 9 cosine of 3 fifths x. OK, because I know that this is going to integrate to some multiple of that. So in order to differentiate this, we've got to use the chain rule. The derivative of the inside comes outside. Now, cosine goes to minus sine, and the 3 fifths will multiply with the 9. So minus 9 times 3 fifths, so minus 27 over 5, sine of 3 fifths x, e to the 9 cosine of 3 fifths x. So that differentiates to this. Now, if that differentiates to that, then what must this integrate to? Now, we've got this 12 out the front. Now, I'm going to leave that as a multiplier, OK? And we need to use the reciprocal of this minus 27 fifths, so minus 5 over 27, e to the 9 cosine of 3 fifths x plus a constant c. So we have 12 times minus 5 over 27, which is minus 20 over 9, e to the 9 cosine of 3 fifths x plus a constant c. And that is my integral. OK? Now, if you're not as confident doing that and you want to do it by substitution, that's perfectly fine. If you want to do this by substitution, you need to make the substitution u is 9 cosine of 3 fifths x. That's the interior function there. So du by dx, differentiating this, so we did it a moment ago, that will be minus 27 over 5 sine of 3 fifths x. Now, I need to rearrange this to get dx equals. So multiply it by the dx, divide both sides by this. So I'm going to get dx is equal to minus um, 1 over 27 fifths sine of 3 fifths x uh, du. OK. So I've divided both sides by that, multiplied up by the dx. OK. So what have I got? I've got 12 sine of 3 fifths x e to the u. And the dx is replaced with this. So minus 1 over 27 over 5 sine of 3 fifths x du. Now the sine of 3 fifths x cancel. They're gone. So I've got the integral of minus 12 divided by 27 fifths. 12 divided by 27 over 5 is 20 over 9. e to the u du. Now, e to the u du just integrates to e to the u. So we have minus 20 over 9 e to the u plus a constant c. Now put the u back in, uh, which was 9 cosine of 3 fifths x. You can see we get to the same result as before.